hello back again with another video this time we're focusing on Southeast Asia land of the rice my favorite area of the world my little slant eyed friends and I mean that with the utmost respect it's not good having round eyes I get I have to squint like this anyway when I go out in the sun because I have blue eyes and it's a mutation just like my albino skin Anyway, today I wanted to talk about Myanmar, the Philippines, and that's it, that's it, that's all I wanted to talk about in Asia, because that's all I really care about at this point. I, I wanted to make this channel about Ukraine, but there's so many people talking about Ukraine, so we're going to focus on Asia. A lot of people don't know this about me, but... When I was growing up, my grandparents raised me, and we housed missionaries from all over the world, and they all came to live with us for like 10 years, and I shared my room with them, and they all stank and smelled horrible. That's a joke. Most of them were actually from the Philippines, and so I have like a, an affinity toward Filipino peoples. My fiance is from the Philippines. I love the penis. Mubuhay. <laughs> but this channel is not going to be so much good news about the Philippines or this or that. It's actually going to be broadly Southeast Asia. It's going to be a. This video is going to be uh, about the Myanmar Civil War, the things going on there. A lot of people don't even know about it because here in the West, we focus a lot on. Um, Europe, go figure, I mean it makes sense right, but uh, a lot of things we're, in America we hear about right now is like about Trump and Ukraine and this and that, and there's so many Ukraine people like I said, so I just wanted to kick off the video talking about the Myanmar Civil War that happened in 2021, where their elected government was overthrown by the junta. Um, a Chinese backed coup because you know China doesn't like democracy if they can get a puppet in there if they can surround themselves with puppet governments then they will be able to do their bidding China is on, on the up trying to become the number one world hegemony and take out the big dogs my country America freedom we're spreading democracy around the world um <laughs> And it's really not a laughing matter. Unfortunately, a lot of people have died. A lot of innocent people have died. And it's not known about here in the States. If I asked anybody, I guarantee you, they wouldn't be able to tell me a single... Th well, Americans are dumb. So, if I asked them anything they should know about, they wouldn't know about it. But, unfortunately, the elected government was overthrown by the junta. Junta. I don't know how it's said in uh, Burma. I want to call it Burma. Myanmar is just such a silly... A silly goose name but as you can see yeah that's pretty much all I know about the conflict <laughs> I'm learning as I go uh, I was watching the freedom fighters I'm not sure what their actual title would be and as I go along with this though I'm gonna be learning too. I've actually been speaking to one of those fighters um, on Facebook because um, I can't talk to him on WeChat. I refuse to. But my nephew is walking in randomly while I'm doing a video. Great. A wild nephew appeared. My nephew came home. So I had to stop for a minute and say hello and give him hugs. See, white people have families too and we're nice. <laughs> anyway... I don't even remember where I was. I got so sidetracked. Unfortunately, I'm gearing this channel to where I don't edit. Or if I do, it's very little because I have a very laborious job. And depression. And I don't want to come home and edit all day. Listen to the white man whine about his, his job while we struggle in the streets. Selling boiled baby duck eggs for pesos. Anyway, like I said, I don't know a lot about 
<clears throat> the Burmese civil war. But obviously, the Chinese are backing the uh, puppet dictator they're trying to install and backing the junta. And the people of Myanmar or Burma don't want that, which most people, most humans, if given the choice, wouldn't want that. I don't know many human. well, there's some here in America, unfortunately, that want to live under dictatorships. I don't get it, but it's a thing. <clears throat> but generally, if you ask people, they don't want to live under the thumb of someone who doesn't allow them to speak freely or free, have free press or to uh, freely assemble, those type of things. Most people want to, you know, have human rights. Wow. But, um, so I'm broadly going to focus on the Philippines until I can get my education up for the Myanmar situation. But I do want to shed light on it. That and the Taiwan issue and everything, anything China is involved in, that's going to be daddy's. That's going to be daddy's specialization. I'll let all the other whites focus on Russia, okay? I'm going to take out the big dragon. I'm single-handedly taking out the Chinese government. The CCP, no more. I couldn't think of a fun, anything funny to say with that. But. As you can see, there's some lines here. And they're going to the, to here, and then this is some more lines, and that that's bad. <laughs> now, I don't want to make jokes on this one because it is sad. Unfortunately, the junta is known for killing their own civilians, bombing schools, and those type of things, which is why we don't like dictators. Well, we don't like people like Vladimir Putin. I say we, I'm talking about myself. And hopefully the audience that I hope to accumulate on this channel is like-minded and doesn't like Vladimir Putin or Xi Jinping or Kim Jong-un or... Uh, I, don't, I don't know who Iran's new president is, but I'll have to learn that as well. Unfortunately... There's this teacher, the school was bombed. Uh, the teacher is recounting how they came in and just slaughtered everyone. They came to shoot at our schools. It's, they came to shoot at our small school. Our school has only has children, children who hold pencils. That's just sad. It's sad that there are people in this world that would do that to other people. Just because another person says so. And it's sad that that other person themselves doesn't have a conscience, but that's just the world we live in, unfortunately. And it's up to people like me and you to bring awareness to these things. And that's what I hope to do. I want to bring awareness to these things in my country. And hopefully it will be successful. It's up to me to be consistent and make good content which this is assuredly not but f and if you like it then you like it and then you f follow and we become a team and we can start doing charities and those type of things now on to my pinos my penis not to be confused with penis because that's what that sounded like but china has been harassing the Philippines in the South China Sea. So what they do is they make these islands, they, they dredge up sand, and they make false islands. And it's actually quite sophisticated and interest and, and good, or good, well done, that they're able to put military bases on these islands so they can launch planes off of them and put military installations. And then because of that, they, they can claim that that is their territory because anything 100 miles off of the Chinese mainland is China, China's property. 
and that applies to all countries, the Philippines include, but unfortunately China is trying to lay claim to the entirety of the South, the South China Sea. And it's pissing off even Vietnam, who is also communist, and they don't like China. If all your neighbors are turning against you, except the ones that you're installing dictators in, you're probably not a good a good country. Are you well, I stand by that. Um and that's why I get a little irritated in this country is because there are people here that sort of simp for <clears throat> the CCP or Vladimir Putin or autocrats. And it makes no sense to me because of when you really look into the things that the that goes on in these countries and the uh, Chinese are genociding the Uyghurs, and we hear nothing about it. It's crazy. But that's what they've been doing. They build these barrier reefs. They try to claim that this is their, their, the South China Sea is theirs. They'll bring in fishing boats, and they're not really fishing boats. They're like actual CCP vessels that will come in. And they'll just stuff the South China Sea with fishing vessels so that trade tankers or military ships can't go through. Because obviously if you can't just run over a civilian vessel. And those are the type of things that they do to cl claim these territories. Um, and the Philippines tries to fight back the best they can. But you know, you, the Philippines can only do so much. They're a tiny island nation. Um, and China is a, it's going to be an empire soon, but a massive, powerful nation. So, fortunately, um, Bong Bong Marcos, who's the president of the Philippines, he reinstalled uh, one of the old U.S. bases that was in the Philippines, and the relationship with the United States and the Philippines is becoming stronger. And I think that. That's ultimately a good thing for the Philippines. Because Philippines, Filipinos are great people. And they largely want to be free. They have a huge English speaking. Um, the, the English literacy in the Philippines is very good. I think they want to be more aligned with the United States than China. <clears throat> I don't have any data on that. That's just what I think. Um... I just brought up these articles to sort of give an understanding. And so here is China's exclusive economic zone. This would be the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. China is putting fishing boats here, all in here. They're building these fake reefs or fake islands and it's just becoming a, a whole thing because at some point China will try to take back Taiwan and Xi Jinping has said that's what he wants to do I believe it will happen within probably the next three years um, unless we can stand up in the west and everywhere really against dictatorships um, and to, I want to speak to my fellow Americans it's important that we do that because if we don't do that the world's going to be run by dictatorships and people who don't like the United States for all the bad things the United States does, having U.S. hegemony in the world is important because the United States stands by democracy, free speech, free press, those type of things. Um, and forgive me that I'm stopping and being spacey. It's very late at night. It's 12, 12 o'clock at night here. I kind of waited too late to do this video. But... Um, I would rather the world be ran by a country who lives by those principles than a country like China or Russia who 
bomb civilian institutions, genocides people, does has no free speech whatsoever, you can't protest, you'll be thrown in jail, those type of things. And the sooner that Americans themselves come to grips with that, that these countries will never be our friend. They do not like us. So you're either going to have to stand with your country or get out. Obviously, I don't believe in that either, but I wish the people that simped China and Russia and all these places would just go. And the Philippines is a flashpoint, unfortunately. Above the Taiwan, you have Japan, who is who's fortunately part of the U.S. alliance as a, a barrier against Chinese expansion. And hopefully it'll hold. Russia and China send multiple warships to the South China Sea. And this is them, you know, beating their chest, trying to show how powerful they are. Whenever the next war happens and the Philippines is, becomes a flashpoint yet again of a, the next world war. I don't know for sure that it will happen, but I think it will. Um, this is what we have to worry about. But... And it's not just, you know, it's not just the ta the Taiwan situation. It's not just, it's, it's, it's not just them installing dictators. It's even, they, they, they put spies in countries. They steal data. All of those things, like, Philippine and Vietnam South China Sea strategies have failed. And that's true. The Philippines just can't do anything against China. Neither can Vietnam. That's why it's important to have allies in this world. Uh, unfortunately, the U.S. can't do anything about it either because you don't want to spark a third world war. But we need the these things need to be talked about more so the Philippines can develop a more coherent strategy and have more backing in the world for doing these things. If the American people know more about what's going on in the Philippines and Vietnam and Myanmar... And awareness is raised. And because we live in a democracy, we can sort of force the hand of our elected officials to do something about this stuff. Apparently, there was a uh, mayor in the Philippines. She actually looks a little bit Chinese to me. But she was accused of being a spy for the CCP. Big surprise, right? And that's apparently, according to my fiance, a big thing that's going on right now. And in the Philippines is Chinese casinos and data data thefts and uh, things like that. And spies everywhere. Politicians basically being CCP-embedded spies who steal information and bring it back to the CCP. They'll do anything they can to turn the tide of a country into their favor because they want to be the number one world power hegemony so they can impose uh, the Chinese ideal of the Chinese what's it what, what was what was it called socialism with Chinese characteristics or whatever <laughs> and like I was saying earlier about the the uh, casinos is a big problem in the Philippines. The Philippine Senate orders the arrest of a mayor probed for Chinese crime ties. Oh, by the way, this mayor disappeared. They can't even find her. Isn't that crazy? All of these things I haven't done a lot of research on. I'll be the first to admit that. Um... All of my time and energy has been focused on Ukraine for the past two or three years. And I decided, you know, there's a civil war going on in Myanmar. All this tension is rising in Southeast Asia. Someone needs to talk about it. And why not me? But the problem with that is 
I'm just ignorant of a lot of the things going on in that part of the world. It's not really reported on here as much because it is not, it's not close to Europe, just to be frank. So forgive me for being stupid or not knowing a lot of these things. I'm learning. I'm hoping that you can come learn with me. There's a scary world on the horizon. You know, I don't want to make this video political from the Amer the American perspective, but this is Jake Bro. He's a Ukrainian center. He's an American focused on the Ukraine war. I follow him. He does good, good content, but he had posted this video. It was about J.D. Vance, who is Donald Trump's vice president pick, and he is very anti-USA. I gotta be honest with you, I don't really care what happens to his words. Another country. I, I don't know if that, you can you even hear that. In Ukraine. If you can't, uh, I don't, then I don't really care what happens too bad. <laughs> the next video, I'll, I'll have all of this fixed. I just wanted to make a quick video about the uh, the situation with this channel and where it's going in the future. I'm, I will be posting every single day. I'm trying to do that five days a week for 66 days to see if it can become a habit i probably said this two other times in this channel but i didn't have the motivation for it now i'm motivated for it and we're going to make it happen and if you're interested in being part of that journey and you think i might be able to relay information or to help you or the entire situation if you like the video, if you like my personality, anything, give it a like, give me a subscribe, and we'll go along for the ride together. And I'll get better with this, and I will become more educated on these topics. And you'll be able to hear videos if I ever play them next time as well. I'm hoping that you were able to hear that. Country. I think it's ridiculous that we're focused on this it looks like you Ukraine. were. I don't know. Uh, but I, I got to be honest with you. I don't really care what yeah. happens to Ukraine one way or the other. Thanks for watching my video. I don't know how to say bye in Burmese or Tagalog. But see you.